Does anyone remember those old Tom Carvel ads from the 70s and 80s? Patton Oswalt, one of my favorite comics, used to do a bit about him, about how he has this really gravelly voice, and he'd talk about their ice cream specials. I'm going to attempt it just for some fun here. <clears throat> Come to Carvel Ice Cream this September 15th, and if you eat 20 cookie pusses in a row, you get a coupon for a free small Sunday on Sunday. But if you don't finish the cookie pusses, Fudge of the Well will give birth on top of you on top of your dead corpse and bury you below in giant fecal matter and ice cream. That's what the promise here is at Carver Ice Cream, where ice cream is ice cream and people are people. <laughs> he just, he had this really rough voice and he, he demanded, I guess he would go into the PR meeting and say, you know, saying, we got this great newscaster, we got these great people, these great voices that have done radio for years, and Tom, Tom Carver was like, no way, I'm doing all the voice myself, because here at Carvel Ice Cream, I'm Mr. Carvel, and I do all the ads. Now, if Cookie Puss has come back in town, and he's pimping pretty heavy, maybe him and Fudge and Well will make you a deal for one of his little trumpets. That's what we're calling our new ice cream special, our trumpet deal. Our trumpets are just little bitches that can't make it on their own, so we sell them on the street by here at Carvel Ice Cream. <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about, Mr. Mister Carvel? Let us put one of these seasoned actors in the ads. They're voice actors, and then what to do it? No, no, we can't do that. No, no, that's against the Carvel way. It's like, it's like they had Cookie Opus for Irish. Our Cookie Opus and went to the bar and got a little drunk. So get our Cookie Opus today. Ooh, Cookie Opus. That's some good puss. Um, uh, there's also, I've been thinking, like, I've been working very hard in the breeding, Fudge of the Well and Cookie Puss. I've finally done it. Fudge of the Well, Cookie Puss babies. Come and eat them before they grow up to resent their parents. <laughs> eh? That's a good line, you know. Eat the offspring of Cookie Puss. And fudge you the well before they resent their parents. My brother, I went through this phase where I won't stop talking about Cookie Puss. And he got really angry and really annoyed. I know how to push his button sometimes by repeating the same thing over and over and over. It's almost like I'm the, the younger brother. Because I try to get him to, you know, rattle. Just to hit, see him, you know pissed off. Just push him over the edge and make him a little angry. It's fun sometimes. It's not really that hard, but I, I start talking in the Tom Carvel voice and start talking about Cookie Puss and he just go ape shit. Limited time only. You can come in and get Tom Carvel's signature ice cream. My ice cream is made by the droppings of Fudge of the Whale and Cookie of Puss. And Cookie Puss. Cookie old Puss and Cookie Puss both pissed in it at the same time. <coughs> oh, that's killing my voice. You can only speak like that for so long before your voice dies. Um, it's like I was expecting like him to do like a warning or something. I know several people have been eating the ice cream that I put in the dumpster after every day. And I just wanted to let you kids know that after every day's work, I go back there and I piss in all of the dumpster. Just to make sure you know you're not getting the same quality you do when you come in and pay for some top quality Carvel ice cream. So when you're eating that stuff, know that you're eating my piss. And thus, you are worse than I am. You are not as good as I am. You are the eater of my piss and feces. Thank you. This has been Tom Carvel. That's how I'm going to leave it. You know, you can't beat piss and feces ever. We love you, Tom Carvel, you crazy bastard. I'm sorry you're dead. It makes me sad, because I, lo I love the idea that just a regular Joe decided to do his own ads, because it's a company he built, and the company that he loved. And that's, that's something that was actually pretty cool. So, I'll talk to you guys later. And think about them Tom Carvel ads. What a man. What a legend. Goodbye, my little subscribers. I'll be back next day. All right.
See you in Cookie Puss. I'm gonna have some fun. Oh yeah. <laughs>